go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Welcome on in. Go ahead. Get the ping roll pinged. There we go. And smell the deadlocks. Beautiful. All right, let's get chat rolling. Wow, the bot's actually working this morning. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Lovely. All right. All right. So move the camera. Oh. Bracket purposes make life a ton easier. There we go. Strength going. Go. Uh, we got people already in criminal. Welcome all in. Congratulations. Yeah, I think you might have been first. You can uh, use exclamation first. You use, uh, use that as the command to uh, notify the channel that you were first for a change. Go ahead and do, I'll do another warm up set here. So we got deadlifts today. And when I say deadlifts by the dozen, I mean it, because we're going to do, I think, if not quite a dozen sets, pretty close to, uh, really going to work the hip hinge motion today. Going to be doing conventional deadlifts, going to be doing Jefferson deadlifts, going to be doing Romanian deadlifts, and going to be doing deficit deadlifts. Should be pretty fun. And by fun, I mean painful. Oh. Starting to get the blood flowing just a touch more. Doing all right. Regular 315. We're going to start our workout there. It's going to be a long workout. I'll be consistent quite a bit. But we're going to get the camera a little bit better. Orientation here, though. There we go. That's about right. Just need to get me go back a touch. There we go. Perfect. All right. How's audio visual this morning? Good. Should be. All right, 
So we're going to start with conventional deadlift, just the basic, and we're going to go from there. Go ahead, update. There we go. Sorry, I had to do one more ping. Perfect. Let's go ahead and Go. All right. Get there. Excellent. So let's see. We got two sets of Jeffersons, two sets of Romanians, two sets of deficits, three sets of conventional. That's going to be nice. That's going to be real nice. Could have also thrown in sumos, but I think sumos to nine sets of deadlifts is kind of overkill. I would say that's. Uh, Probably, I don't want to. I don't like the term junk volume because I, I still think, to a certain degree, you can continue to overtrain. I think the threshold for junk volume is a lot higher than most other people do, but that's a lot of sets uh, of deadlift. We're going to go your right hand under for first and third set, left hand under for the second set. Normally, I like to keep it even, but. It's just the way this worked out this morning. All right. Oh. 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 Back is crunchy this morning. Hey, David, welcome all in. You can see the ambulance outside. Huh. I didn't see an ambulance outside, but all right. That's uh, good to know. Four before the post. Thank you very much, uh, David. I think. Let's see here. Need to update my sleep times before I forget to. I did that a little bit earlier than that. I got 7.7 .7 hours of sleep. That's pretty solid. And we need some music for this, too. This is going to be a good morning, Black Friday kind of mega death type deal. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. And but what, what what are we doing in here? No, I don't. Summit racing. What the fuck? No. I just want to listen to Megadeth for God's sake. Hey Joe, welcome on in. All right, Oreo, welcome on in. Good to see y'all. Okay. set so deadlifts all right for those of y'all don't know I mean, it's about the simplest exercise in the world grab the weight pick up the weight lift with your legs don't lift with your back keep your back straight keep your abs tight and your glutes really need to be doing the lion's share of the work here keep the bar very close to your shins but try not to scrape your shins uh, shoulder width apart's about where i like to have it and then i like an opposite grip you can pick whichever grip you like though there's, there's no hard rule on that one. All right. Let's go.
Solid. All right, we take 15. That's a good start. Feeling lazy. Nah. Use the bumper plates. That's what they're here for. Feeling good. <sighs> Nothing like deadlifts at five in the morning. Hey, John, good to see you. Welcome on in. Hey, Sean, good to see you, DJW. Yes. Hey, hot sauce from across, from across two ponds, I suppose I should say. I got any mods in the chat. Shout out hot sauce and John for me. Well, I guess I can do that. Just stop being lazy for a moment. If Twitch will... Depending on if the Twitch app behaves, I can do that. All right. Hey, hey, Adam212, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. And then, shout out, John is hiding in the box. I believe it's five underscores. Yep. Uh, Two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. Yeah, give those two a check out. I know. Uh, seems like uh, Miss Hot Sauce, you've been doing pretty well on uh, coming back from what you've had to suffer through. So that's pretty inspiring. It's resilience is a really good thing to see. This will be our second set, 365. I'm going to do this one without straps. This will actually be a good test. I'm going to do this one without straps. And if my grip strength starts to fail, I'll do the third one with straps. And see how many reps I can get for 365. I'm not the world's biggest fan of using straps for everything. Because if you do, they turn from being a tool into being a crutch. You don't want that. But there are times when they have their uses for sure. Now, do I normally go slower on deadlift sets? Yes. The amount of energy it takes your whole body, plus when you're talking, it's slower to recover. It just takes time. Whatever. Oh, what the fuck is this? Let's go. Oh, I was trying to get that to pop earlier. There we go. Let's go left hand under this time. What's up, Neil? Welcome on in. Sean, good to see you. I forgot you streamed. My bad. I'll I'll shout you out. <laughs> Give me a sec. There just aren't that many people in my audience yet, too. Numbers are still low this morning. People are just waking up. Which is no excuse considering where my time zone is, but I digress. <laughs> Okay, come on. 
strong leg ball focus strong leg ball I'll take 10. There's more power to be had there, but it's definitely a function of uh, grip. It's not bad though, 365 for 10. We go three seventy five. And I'm waiting for Black Friday. There, Sean. What do that? Get my straps on. We're gonna see. We're gonna see just how that helps. DJW, uh, haven't seen you in a while. Looking massive. I appreciate that. Definitely still trying to get the weight on point. Got a little bit more to cut. It's hard, man. We get hungry late at night. I eat shit I shouldn't. There we go. Give you a shout out there. Yeah. Like I need to be targeting about 2,900 calories a day. And I was doing great right up until about 8 o'clock yesterday, which is normally my time to wind down. And I just got so hungry, I caved and had a couple tortillas. Just straight freaking tortillas because I crave carbs like that. And I was at 3380. Still technically a calorie deficit, but not a big one. When I lift, I'm burning closer to 4,000 to 3,000 calories. So, all right. So, I'm using straps and you wear a watch. You have to choke it up further on your wrist to make enough space, which is okay. Takes some getting used to. All right. Yeah, no problem for the shout out. Well, I think it's because you try to run a calorie deficit all through the day, and right, your motivation's the weakest when you're the most tired. When are you going to be the most tired? Right before you go to bed. When is right before you're going to go to bed? Seven, eight, nine at night, if you're me anyway. It's kind of the witching hours. But you say, oh, why don't you just push your dinner back to bed? If I do that and it's too high a protein, I'll overheat and then I can't get to sleep. So it's really a catch-22. Uh, I've yet to figure out the correct answer. I know eventually I will. It's just 
<sighs> Frustrating. All right. I think the most I've ever done on 375 was eight. That 10 went up pretty reasonably well without straps. I think I'm gonna have no problem with it. Key is just keeping my back flat, abs tight. Uh, the other key is to look up. So another good little deadlifting cue. When you're exercising the lift and you're coming up with it, don't look down. If you look down, it's the same reason you shouldn't look down when you squat. You have a propensity to arch your spine because you're arching the top of it at your neck. Uh, you don't want to risk that. All right. Protein equals overheat. Yeah, for me it does. Uh, so I have enough muscle mass to where, right, uh, there's something called the thermic effect of food. Okay, with the thermic effect of food, certain types of food, certain types of macros uh, require more energy to burn. Carbs, it's like five, or fat is like 2%, carbs is like 5 to 10%, and then protein is like 20 to 25% of the energy contained within gets burned as your body processes it. So for me, a lot of that protein is gonna get burned while it's being processed, which is great in the sense that, yay, it's burning more calories, but it's not so great in the sense that the laws of thermodynamics suggest that that is going to create heat as a byproduct, which here, especially because it's you know warm in my unair conditioned apartment in Hawaii, this is that's an unwanted byproduct. Yeah, pretty much. It's yeah, it's breaking down the food, your stomach breaking down the food, and then your small intestines breaking down uh, further to get you know get the nutrients into your bloodstream. There's more scientific terms, I'm sure, for the thermic effect of food, but I don't think I'm the person to be talking about that. Come on, time for Megadeth on a third set. Ten, we take it. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, the straps definitely help. to deficit deadlifts. So, some of y'all wondering, what's a deficit deadlift? Exactly what it sounds like. You create a deficit by standing on a platform, which means your range of motion is larger. Go three 
315 to start. I think for these, I'm going to stay strapless on this set. See where we go. Strings, legs, it'll be very sore by the end of this, as it should be. It's a little bit closer, not shorter with the part. It's good right there. So, by elevating my heels, let me get back you guys up a bit more so you can see it. Thanks, Shan. The Discord link. So you see the platforms there. By elevating my heels, it forces a longer range of motion, much in the same way that if you were to take these same plates and put them under the bumper plates for the weight, you create a shorter range of motion. That's called a block deadlift. Block deadlifts are great if you need help locking out at the top. Because I'm tall, the hard part for me is usually at the bottom which is what the deficit of trains. I'll take 10 at 375 though. That's uh, quite good. I'm going to go... Actually, yeah, it'll work. Cool. Get that going. Yeah. Okay. Alright, thanks for the lurk there, hot sauce. You have a good one. So, you know, if I was able to do 15 reps fresh for the conventional dead, with the deficit dead, you're not going to be able to do as many reps, and especially considering I'm not fresh. The key here is form and range of motion. So if I can get six to eight on here, I'm going to be pretty happy. If I can get more, fantastic, but if not, ain't the end of the world. The last thing you want to do is uh, overdo it on deadlifts. It's not worth it because then you hurt your lower back and you're out of commission for almost everything. So in other news, my Aggies came through in a big way yesterday for the first time in years against a quality opponent. And shut up, I don't care what you say, Missouri was a good team. At least let me believe that for the next week. Let me earn this, let me have this. All right, here we go. I actually felt pretty good on that, but I did not think this through. Um, the plates were rotating on the plates. 
and that's not ideal. There we go, that's much better. Yeah, so the metal of the plate is on the plate. So, you know, while in theory you should not be twisting, if it happens, uh, you know, with the ankles and it gives way, it's definitely a good way to get hurt. So I need to adjust this. But that felt good. We'll do another set at 315. That was easy. Well, okay, not easy, but relatively easy. I might try Romanians at 315. That felt... The deficits felt really easy, so... I don't know. I might... If I go for 10, I might try a set. <laughs> Set of Romanians at 315, why not? Oh my god, I like doing deep and clean. I save all the weights to stand on. Usually they're better, but I screwed up on that last one. So I forgot uh, that the cores of these black plates are metal. Uh, and the cords of the bumper plates are metal. So there's metal rotating on metal. There's very little resistance if you've ever understood why trains work, right? Why do you use train wheels that are metal and train tracks that are metal? It's because it's low rolling resistance, efficient, which is not what you want for this. So I've moved the plates slightly uh, to put them on the urethane instead, which should fix the problem. The night, two men out and three men on nowhere to look but inside. Stuff I need to, that's better. The weights are starting to get a bit loose on the left side. See y'all's right, my left. Okay. Going right hand under here, same thing. We'll be using straps for the Romanians, by the way. That one is, I'll explain that next set. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Let's focus on what's ahead of us immediately. <sighs> Strong like bull. Let's go. Easy, baby. Lightweight. <sighs> felt good. That felt real good. <sighs> yeah, I was not expecting deficits for 10, but here we are. That was great. Was substantially stronger than expected. I will take that every single day. <laughs> if you can't tell, uh, the deadlifts take a little bit more out of me than say pull downs <laughs> or leg curls. You can hear my breathing, so <laughs> you should be able to figure that out. So next up, we have the Romanian deadlift. Let's talk about the Romanian deadlift for a moment, why you would do it, right? So we've already covered the basics of the conventional deadlift. Put it on a side angle, the whole idea, right? Keep your back straight. You come up with your knees first, use your hamstrings and ass to get it up, and then you hinge at the hips 
to lock it out. In the same way, a block or a deficit deadlift is a variation that increases or lowers the range of motion. A Romanian deadlift takes the principle of time under tension and more or less, for the lack of a better term, inverts the exercise. What do I mean by that? And this is one of a few times where I will credit the communists with coming up with something great. Really, that was the two things the two things the communists could end up doing well was lifting weights and building Kalashnikovs. That's about it. They're certainly useless at producing food. Okay. So, what is the Romanian deadlift? In the same way, the deadlift focuses on the concentric section of the workout, that is, picking the weight up. The Romanian deadlift focuses on lowering the weight. Now, Romanian deadlift is more similar in terms of positioning to a stiff-legged deadlift. The difference is that with a Romanian deadlift, you are allowed some slight knee bend. Not too much. You don't want to go all the way down. But you want just enough knee bend to support the rest of your body. And then you do a Romanian. The goal is to come down real slow on the eccentric and get to the point where, even right here, knees are slightly bent, mostly the torso that's over, and the cat or the hamstrings are what's being stretched. If you're doing a Romanian deadlift properly, you'll feel your hamstrings getting pulled and stretched. That's what you want. Do not do a Romanian deadlift unless you've warmed up. That's a good way to get hurt. Y'all wanted a complete the chaos arc. Never trust hippies. Morning, Big Red. Shania, there you go. <laughs> Showing off the Aloha State flag. It's like uh, connection stable this morning. That's good. In the past, it has not been. Hopefully, it stays that way. Now, for a Romanian deadlift, as I was saying, because you are focusing a lot on that eccentric, uh, grip strength becomes a problem at some point. This is why straps are useful. The Romanian deadlift is, I mean, sure, it is an exercise to work your forearms, but if your forearms give out before you really hit your hamstrings hard, you're not getting the most out of the Romanian deadlift that you can. Again, are my forearms weak? Could they use more training? Yes. And am I working on that? Things like wrist curls, hammer curls, uh, the rollers and even rice bucket training. Sure. But today is a leg day. <laughs> and if, again, if my forearms give out before my legs do, I'm leaving gains on the table, which is not what we want. So now for Romanians, you can do an oppo grip, which is what I've been doing for all my others. I actually prefer to do the double overhand grip here, even though it's harder, but that's why I'm using straps. Straps should help with that. Let's go. Let's go with a little. A little street of, street of Dreams by Rainbow. That'll work. Right. It's hard. Already sweat on the storm. Okay. Let's do this. So with straps, the key is you go under with it, and much like you twist the throttle on a motorcycle, 
you twist it back so that way there's a little this is a very little space between the curl over and where your wrist is no It's kind of a art to get the other one on because you can't use your other hand, but a little bit of practice, it's easier. There we go. I need to go down weight. I like the way that feels. It's not wise. Let's go two fifty five. Didn't like the way that felt. Felt like I was worried too much about the come up. And not focusing as much on the stretch. Running through my memory. The stream, dream, no sassy. So, I had a question for my audience. Those of you actually paying attention, how many of y'all are here from the urinating tree server? I'd love to hear y'all in chat. Because rejoined due to the college football madness of yesterday. Uh, I think something like eight teams <laughs> in the top 25 got knocked out. We got knocked off. So I want to see if there's much crossover between that server and my audience. It's going to dictate how long I stay. Defensive ports fan. Okay, there's one. These snipers on the case. Thank you very much. Romanian deadlift. This already sounds crazy as it is. It's not bad. Good. Defensive sports fan. I don't believe I've seen you here. The defensive sports fan. I don't know why I said defensive sports fan. You know, you think the blood might not be flowing up here. Good to see you. So for those of you from the tree card server that uh, maybe don't recognize who I am or why I would matter, I was the guy who built that server. Uh, God, six years ago? It's, uh, if you hear, don't worry, this server will be dead by 2020 as a joke. Those were some words I said quite a long time ago, uh, in jest. So the joke is that the server is undead. All right. Let's go. Rocket. Little death leopard. Good to, good to have you. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are new to my channel, perhaps from the tree court server, uh, I was the one who built that server many years ago. Uh, I am a rabid Texas A&M fan. Uh, man of the Washington DC teams pros don't care about the NBA and I'm still kind of traumatized by the Snyder era. So, uh, kind of very, very cautiously approaching the NFL right now. I just, I just know Washington will find a way to ruin Jaden Daniels as well. I just know it. I've seen this movie before. It was in 2012. It's the last time both Texas A&M and Washington were any good. No, that's not true. A&M was good in 2020, but it's the last time they were both good simultaneously. Okay. So we do the same thing here. This is 255. Again, Romanian deadlifts to me 
you should be looking to the 12 to 15 rep range. I don't see the value in doing super heavy Romanians. The whole point is hypertrophy is stretching those hamstrings. So lighter weight and more reps is more valuable, in my opinion. Should have no issue with 255, though. After hitting all these other reps at heavier weight, this should feel like a, a hat. I feel like SpongeBob lifting the marshmallows. the left arm this time first though that should help come on over the counter that's good. yeah that's better Yeah, it stretches way better. That's what I like. Take 12. It's not bad. Is that a minute time under? It's good. All right. Killer Queen, Dizzy, Lizzy, a major time. So come on. We just got to fly. All right. So. Now what we're doing, we're gonna hit the Jefferson deadlift. You thought we were done? Uh-uh. This is our last pure deadlift variant of the day. Technically, there will be more, because after this, we have power cleans. First, the Jefferson deadlift. So, What is the Jefferson deadlift? The Jefferson deadlift is kind of a unique variation in which, let me back you up further just a touch. It seems like I keep backing you up further, but there's a point. There's a method to the madness. It really matters that you'll see the footing on this one. You straddle the bar and do an even set of Jeffersons because what you do one set, you want to flip to make sure you're training evenly. Make sure it's symmetric, but you go right hand or you go back foot, the hand for the back foot's underhand grip, hand for the back foot's overhand grip. You come just like this and you come up with it. This really, really works your glutes well. You have to be careful though, because you are going to have a tendency, especially if you've got long legs, to bend your back, which you do not want to do. So the key is to keep looking up don't look down and focus on squeezing the glutes at the bottom. Those bottom three or four inches are what really makes this exercise. Like defense, to do my name out. Is the YouTube server still alive? Yeah, it's alive. It's doing fine, I think. Three games looks good. We are just through his handles to crime. I never liked RG3, but that's because I hate Baylor. So, we're gonna sign Jeremy Swayman for 66 mil. That's not good. It's interesting, too, to see how inflated the NFL has become in terms of contracts. The NFL is a bubble at this point. At some point, you're going to have teams declare bankruptcy with some of these contracts. All it's gonna take is another recession. Uh, and these contracts will become entities that the NFL franchises uh, will not be able to afford. They're giving Pat Mahomes, what, 
damn near half a billion or some shit guaranteed. Don't get me wrong, Mahomes is great, but no. <laughs> I mean, that's almost what it costs to found a new franchise. That's insane. All right. Here we go. Strong like ball, let's go. Now, finding your balance point on this can be a bit tricky, but you get used to it after time. All right. Deeper. It's pretty good. It was eight. It's not bad. All right, so we've got one more of those, and we're on to power cleans. Power cleans are going to be hard. So that is after nine sets of deadlifts. We have to hit power cleans. I'm going to hit them at 225. Uh, I won't hit them for that many reps. If I can get six, I'm going to be thrilled. If I can get three, I'm going to be okay. So once we get, we're going to hit three sets of power cleans, then we hit good mornings, uh, and then we move on to more machine work. Uh, we'll probably smooth machine hip thrusts. I'm going way too slow right now, but that's okay. It's deadlift day, and I'm chatting with y'all. Six in the morning, there's nowhere I'd rather be. Let's... Something's weird with me, huh? That was always a weird ass, I guess. All right. Come on. Last set. Jefferson Duds. Let's go. Focus on the form. Um, another thing. You may have noticed I choked up, made my grip more narrow. Uh, midway through the set there, I should have started narrower. You don't need a super wide grip for this because you're already going to be, at least for me anyway, you know, my legs are long enough to where it's hard for me to reach down and actually get all the way to the floor with the bar. So definitely okay to go with a narrower grip. Gives you an extra inch to work with. All right, let's go. Nice. I felt good. All right. Next up is the power clean. A power clean, that's an athlete's exercise. It requires, it's not quite a full body workout. That would be the full body press. 
but the power clean comes damn close. It combines a hang clean with a deadlift. So it will take a lot out of your central nervous system. Obviously, right, at this stage of the workout, I'm not doing this for a one rep max. That would be insane. It'd be dangerous. But I should be able to do this for heavy weight. I do think I'm gonna switch to Eruption by Van Halen. I also think we can edit where the position of the cam is. That yeah, should be about right. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Y'all see me stand? Pull up? Sure can. Excellent. So, I mean, <laughs> As I was just saying, power clean focuses the deadlift. You, you, you deadlift the weight and then you clean the weight. It's not rocket science. Uh, the key is to use your legs for the clean though. If you just use your upper body for the clean, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh. Feels good, just extend my back a bit. Those pushed in a bit. Much better. Good, 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 good. So, uh, power clean grip. You should grip it like a conventional deadlift with a double overhand grip. Uh, in theory, you could use straps for a power clean. I prefer not to. Just in case you have to bail. Uh, you know, the straps are going to keep that weight attached to you basically. Uh, you know, and this is more than my body weight. So that's, that seems inadvisable. So uh, you know, if you have to bail, worst case, you know, you drop the weight and you back off. Uh, seems to me to be the more prudent way to do that. Okay. Another Jefferson deadlift. Yeah, I'm Juan. Good to see you. Speaking of just unbelievably strong dudes, you and I think you and John are the strongest guys I know uh, from Twitch. By the way, speaking of Twitch, uh, I'm not going to be on this platform for much longer. I'm going to be switching to YouTube in the coming weeks. Uh, there are a lot of reasons for this, but uh, chief among which is I'm going, I'm doing really well as a runway model and I get all, asked about social media all the time because I refuse to use it. I can say, yeah, but I stream on Twitch. And the same response I get from everyone is, what's Twitch? That's not ideal. So, but everybody knows what YouTube is. Anybody who doesn't know what YouTube is, I mean, come on, you, you're living under a rock at this point. So that's what's going on there. I think Twitch is a dying platform, slowly but surely. Uh, at least, I, I think... I've hit something of a ceiling here. Or rather, maybe that I have a much higher ceiling on YouTube. Not that I'm necessarily better than anybody else on that platform. There are far better fitness instructors, but for what I do specifically, you know, the financial independence stuff, the you know, everything else, YouTube Live works just as well at this point. And YouTube takes a smaller cut of the super chats than Twitch does of the subscription. So it seems to me to be a no brainer. So that'll be happening in the coming weeks. I just need to get 3000 watch hours first and I'm at like 2300 and change 2400. So that'll come. Just need to be patient. Let it roll on through. Okay. Here we go. I'm like, well, this is 225. <sighs> <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
too. Failed to lock it out. There you go, down weight. Whoa. Ooh, lightheaded there. Holy shit. All right. I guess after nine sets of deadlift, I was asking my body for a bit too much there. I've done that for three or four before, but I guess uh, uh, that's closer to the weight I could probably do fresh. Let's, uh, let's head on down to 185. That shit felt kind of dangerous. <laughs> Couldn't quite lock it out there on the third. It's okay, those things happen. Wow. Yeah, I felt really lightheaded there. That's, uh, that's a sign that I'm probably overdoing it. It's all right. We'll stick with 185 today. Try that again some other time. Who Nelly. Yeah, that was uh, kind of sus. <laughs> that third one. Whew. I have to watch the form on that in the replay. A few other exercises. I meant to watch the film of my rows yesterday, and I just forgot. that there we go there's two were clean yeah the the third one just got too much Good job to be strong you're crazy strong too i appreciate that let's switch chat features as a viewer yeah the redeems are nice, the points redeems are nice, I guess, but it's just, there's a bigger audience on YouTube. And the other really big one is that on live streams, I can just turn ads off. Like there are ads at the beginning and then you don't see them at all. And that appeals to me because I already run the minimum ads on Twitch uh, that I can. I'm still forced to run 30 seconds an hour. Uh, and I would really appreciate not having to run any at all. Will that hurt me in the algorithm? Almost undoubtedly. Do I care? No. All right. That not support the fitness community. That is absolutely true. Um, Twitch does not support the fitness community at all. Twitch, I think Twitch actively detests them because it gets people inspired to get off their ass and hit the gym uh, instead of sit there and consume more of the products that Amazon offers. Because YouTube doesn't care. YouTube just cares about what makes money. Regardless, YouTube is more agnostic when it comes to viewership, I think. 185, let's go. I should have six bare minimum on this. I'm going to be pissed off if I don't get at least six. Let's go. Strong like ball. Take that. 
I felt good. Let's try 195. A little bit heavier. But yeah. So for those of you who don't know, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you type in bull muscle, it should come up uh, because the name bull muscle is already taken. Uh, my actual handle is at bull muscle ag. So it should come up either way. I've got like 800 subs on there. So I need to make a bot timer. You know, I'm going to write that down. YouTube bot timer and then review footy all right you give me one minute I don't want to finish now precious see what screaming and drive yeah let's I don't want to sound like Alex Jones or anything but there's absolutely an agenda there to normalize that kind of thing just I don't care, but I don't want that you be realistic, right? Don't tell me you're not pushing that stuff because you are. All right, give me one second, y'all. So if I got eight on that last set, it's only 10 pounds heavier. I should try definitely six. If I can get seven, I'll be happier. Let's go. Let's go. Classic. We'll, uh, Van Halen. It's all yours, brother. I'll move the camp. So I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way, but. Oh, nice. Welcome on in. Last set. Let's go. Last set of power cleans, anyway. It's, it's, when it comes to pushing drag and stuff like that, I mean, these are all San Francisco based companies. They all have a certain social agenda. Um, I really don't care about it, but what bothers me is when they tell me up is down and that they're not pushing it because they are, it's okay to push it. You'd say, Hey, we support this, but be a man actually, you know, so, you know, be honest about what you do and don't support. It's not, there's, there's no problems with that. Don't just, don't fucking lie to people. Let's go. Come on. Ninety five. Here we are, strong like bull.
Serve six. We take it. Damn. I. All right. All right, now we got good mornings. We carry on. mornings that's it yeah that felt good morning Jason walk on in oops doinked it like I was Cody Parkey there actually I didn't I didn't need to hit it twice problem Bears fans yes it's still funny I don't care how many years ago it was. Okay, so we got good mornings, three at 155. Okay, Whew. let's go. Probably my new favorite, one of my new favorite lifting songs anyways, Megalomania by Black Sabbath. It's a band at an absolute ragged edge. So, the good morning is basically in the same way that a Romanian deadlift is going to work the hamstrings and the glutes by coming down with the weight here, so too is the good morning going to do the same thing with the weight at the top. Actually, drop the cam just a touch. Yep, it is now morning here. Uh, getting a beautiful Hawaiian sunrise as always. So I like to go with a low bar position for good mornings. You can go with high bar. It doesn't really matter. Low bar just feels easier to control for me. So take what you will from that. Spot. There it is. Oh, I feel that stretch in my hamstrings. Oh, that's good. might be wondering, how on earth are you not hurting your back doing this? There are two ways. First, abs stay tight. You have to keep your abs tight. I like a belt because it just helps even more. Um, the second is, this is not heavy weight. This is 155. If you do a good morning at a squat weight, you're going to hurt yourself. Don't do that. Start at lightweight. Don't go with any fewer than 10 reps if you can help it. I think that was 10 there. It's either 10 or 12. I'm calling it 10 because I don't remember. i give you all a side perspective too if you all want that. you all probably enjoy this too. It doesn't really matter. To say is take complete control. Yeah, why don't you just get out of my life? Why 
doesn't it Body, leave me alone. Yeah, why doesn't everybody leave me alone? Yeah, that riff is in the piano, kind of segue. God, I love White Sabbath. Look up, too. Don't look down. And I just lost two thirds of my viewers. It's actually probably good for me to have. Um, just because I need a good reference point for watching film. So, sue me. Going backwards when I'm in control. Feel it slipping away. Finally done on the squat rack. Let's move the calves. Give ourselves a little bit of a break with some easier sets. You know. We go to the cable leg press because it's good enough to do calves on. And I don't need to sit there hauling plates around to set it up. The deadlifts took a long time to get today, so I got to speed up a touch. That'll do. Let's get 330. Should do. There we go. Ah, come on, stay seated. I think that was 20. Felt like 20. Alright. Yeah. It's 20 at, what was that? 
330 is pretty easy. Probably go up to 350, 370. Why are you going to have cake this early in the morning? Hush. Ah, that's okay. This is an 18 plus channel. If Twitch gets mad about that, all it's going to do is speed up my acceleration away from the platform. Um, all right, that's what I was going to do next. Set up. I'm just setting up the smooth machines. That's what we're going to do next. Hip thrusts, which I'm sure absolutely zero of you are complaining about. Let's go. Set. Let's go with 350. See my calves pumping. I think there's even you even hear Ozzy sniffing at the end of this track. Like you can tell. That's why I love sabotage. That is the absolute most degenerate Black Sabbath ever really got. That's pretty good. Girls do it all the time, double standard. Oh, absolutely. That's the other thing I can't stand about Twitch. If you're a big streamer, you can do whatever the hell you want. If you're a little guy like me, Twitch will find the easiest and stupidest reason to suspend you, demonetize you. At least that's what the, it used to be. Things got better when they finally added the 18 filter, which I wanted, not even for that, but I wanted because I like talking about adult topics, you know, dating. I like talking about economics, even sometimes politics, energy policy, the Interstate Highways Act and its consequences, you know, just the standard stuff. What, you thought we'd get through a stream without that? Discord link tree. Yep. Then he did a YouTube command. Um, you should search bull muscle or bull muscle ag and it should come up. But definitely, please give me a follow on that or subscribe. Uh, the faster I get 3,000 watch hours, the faster I can accelerate the transition to YouTube. So uh, if you decided to watch my old VODs, please do so on YouTube, not on Twitch. Hell, the VODs only stay on Twitch for like <laughs> two weeks anyway. Speaking of other reasons I prefer YouTube. Appreciate it. Plus, subscribing is free on YouTube. All right. This time, I'm going to go wider grip. Or, sorry, a wider stance. Still hitting calf raises. Let's go. Seventy, easy enough. Let's go for the full stack, four hundred. Yeah, why not? Why not? Easy peasy. Yeah. Are you metal? Are you mad? You changed a lot since it began. Just subscribe to YouTube. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, the faster we get to, so I'm at like twenty three hundred to twenty four hundred watch hours right now within the last year. To be eligible for Super Chats, uh, which is what I want to do before uh, I start live streaming on YouTube, you have to have 3,000. So we're 80% of the way there. 600 watch hours, right? If everyone in my fan base uh, on Twitch, right, all 2,100 uh, followers, 
if every single one of y'all watched for something like 15 minutes, we'd be there. Which is, I mean, that's not much to ask. <laughs> so definitely, uh, hell, just <laughs> if you want to be a real bro, just leave it on in the background. Doesn't matter. Whatever gets me to 3,000. Let's go. <sighs> Full stack. see my calves pumping. I should have just started with that. Shit was easy. It's true. Ah, you Satan. Ah, you man. You changed a lot since it began. The, this is The Rit by Black Sabbath. Um, so they called the album Sabotage because uh, their manager basically tried to screw them over. I kind of got away with it. Like they were answering legal calls trying to record the album. Uh, so Ozzy Osbourne sat down and wrote this. Uh, just basically one of the best diss tracks of all time. Of course, probably didn't help that Black Sabbath at the time was coked out of their minds. They uh, said that they recorded in the same studio that the Eagles uh, recorded Hotel California, and they found about a kilo of coke in the uh, recording equipment, just buried in there because the Eagles were doing coke off of it. Wild. Yeah, the 70s were a different time. Oh, deep. There we go. stuff over to the Smith machine. That's what we're doing next. I'm sure y'all won't mind the view. <laughs> y'all never do. Oh God. <laughs> Trying to run back over here is hard. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate that bougie and Tony. Very nice of you. All right. So there's really no other way to film this, so it's going to be right there. I got to get the bench style. So these are hip thrusts. These are what gives you them iron glutes. So pump on the steel is a good exercise. Gotta bring the bench over for it though. Okay. 275 on here. So the hip thrust, very simple exercise. And there's no way to do it without it looking sus. It just is what it is. <laughs> There's no way I can make this lower. Well, actually there is. Move this step out of the way. That might help. Okay. So hip thrusts. The idea here 
quite basic. What you do is I write this down first. C75 Smith machine. You rest your mid to upper back on the bench. You keep ah, sorry. You keep the bar at your upper thighs or hips. Uh, try not to crush your uh, <clears throat> down there. And you squeeze your glutes to basically make a bridge. And well, I mean, that's really the gist of the exercise, isn't it? Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go on Moody Blues. I like the Smith machine here because it means you don't have to worry about left, right balance, which is not the point of this exercise, by the way. I need to move the bench further back. It's too short. You want to see why my ass looks like this? Here you go. All right, you know what? Maybe, maybe there is a side view, kind of all 